Love the idea of sunshining your mistakes. It means that you're coming to the table with, whew, boy, I really messed that one up. Made a big mistake, made a big, made a big misjudgment, but you're, you're shedding the light, you're shining the light on a mistake that you've made so that you can model how other people in your company can do that as well. So I make a mistake, I bring it to the table like, wow, I'm, I made this mistake. If, if I, it affected anybody negatively, I'll apologize to that person that negatively affected. I'll say, my format is this, I sunshine my mistake, so I speak what my mistake was. I don't call myself stupid. I don't say that I don't know anything. I don't, you know, yeah, it's not self-flagellate. About, right, that's it's, exactly. wow, that was a big mistake. Like, didn't see that one coming. And this is how that mistake was made. So this is what I overlooked, or this is this is what caused that mistake. And then this is what I'm going to do different going forward to make sure this mistake doesn't happen again, right? That's yep. really the format for sunshining your mistake. It's not, and a lot of people, a lot of people get this wrong. It's not saying, I made this mistake. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. You know, I can't believe I did this. You're not, it's not about you beating yourself up over yeah. the mistake. It's A, I'm modeling that I'm taking responsibility for my mistake, which is vulnerable in and of itself because most people is not a, are not okay with making mistakes. Right. This is about lifting your self-esteem up, not this about, about tearing it down. Correct. Not making your list less than anybody right. else. This actually makes you, this lifts the whole team up. You It lifts everybody up to yes. a, higher, a yes. higher level. Yes. This is why the mistake was made or this is how it was made and this is what I'm, I learned so that it's not going to happen again mm-hmm. and then apologize to everybody, to anyone that, that it may have negatively impacted, right? So 100% taking personal responsibility, which is also very vulnerable. It's vulnerable to take personal responsibility. Very vulnerable. Because you admit that you did something, you made a mistake, right? I'm not even going to say right. you, you did something wrong because it's not like you intentionally did something wrong. It's mistakes just an error. Mistakes happen. It's just an error, right? So that's vulnerability piece number one. The second place that I see business owners really get tripped up is, um, well, I mean, we just did a workshop with some seven figure business owners and I asked them a question. I said, all right, let's, let's be real here. How many of you are currently tolerating an employee that is underperforming that you've had multiple conversations with, but you're just tolerating them? You know that you need to make a change and you're tolerating them. And three fourths of the room raised their hand. Yep. Right. And I said, all right, well, let's hear Let's hear the excuses. Why are you tolerating this employee? So the excuses were, I'm afraid of what my team is going to think. I'm afraid I'm making a mistake and I'm a bad person. I feel responsible for this person because, and you can name any, any, any of like, they have a health issue. They have a child with a health issue. They have a, a spouse yeah. with a health, like going through they're, a divorce, they're going through a divorce. They're on hard times. So they're taking personal responsibility for their employee. Um, I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to find someone to replace them. I'm afraid I'm not a good enough leader, and that's why I'm having a problem with this person. Or I've never actually had the hard conversation because I don't, I don't want to have the hard conversation. I'm afraid of conflict, right? These are, these are seven-figure business owners. These aren't people that are just starting, that haven't been in business for very long. These are business owners that some of them have been in business for 10, 12 yeah, years. Yeah, they've got some accomplishment right? behind them, experience. And and. This whole this whole question that I asked, I, I was I was a little I wasn't surprised because this is this is a, a big problem with most people that that manage teams, right? They got into business because they love what they do, and they've never really been trained on how to manage people or or how to have difficult conversations or how to set up the system so that you don't have to have those difficult conversations. Right. Um, but when you dig down to the underbelly right. of every single one of those excuses, it's vulnerability.